Hello again. Kevin here. Decided to take care of my potatoes today. I've already started, as you can see. Uh, I'm growing potatoes. I tried it, wanted to try it this year for the first time, growing potatoes in a bucket. Um, because when you grow them in the garden, one, well, I always dig a trench, probably a good six inches deep, put the potatoes in there, cover them up a little bit. Once they start growing, keep covering them up till you know, they're buried at least a good six inches. And then come fall, you gotta dig them all out. Well, come fall, when I'm digging them, I hate them. I had another video, I'm not sure if that video turned out yet or not, but if it did, I will uh, post that one as well. I got a lot of potatoes where I hit and they're damaged and you gotta either eat them right away or I'll can them or just feed them to the pigs. But this is probably one of the biggest red potatoes I've ever grown and it came out of a bucket believe it or not. So you can see I got some pretty nice potatoes coming out of a bucket and that so far was I believe four buckets. So um, my daughter was just out here and she goes well how do you know when you gotta do this? You can see when the potatoes are dry like this, all dried out. I could probably wait maybe one more week yet, but I've decided to do it now. Got a little time. Plus, they are pretty dry. Um, if you wait too long, because we've been getting a little bit of rain here lately, they will start rotting underground. So that's why I decided to pick them now. I pull the plant out, and there's little potatoes growing in the roots, so that's why I picked through those. I saved the plants because the pigs actually love them. I don't know if they're sweet or something, but they just love them. So that's, that's two potatoes. Three, four, five, six. I think I had one little one in there, so we'll call it seven potatoes. Eight. Eight potatoes in one bucket and nice sizes. Another good plant the way it looks. What I did is I put about three, four inches of dirt on the bottom, put the seed potato in, cover, just said it was covered up, maybe with an inch or two of dirt. It started growing up, you know, say six inches. I put more dirt around it. Grew up some more, put some more dirt around it. Grew up some more, put some more dirt until I had it where the dirt was about two to three inches below the top. You could probably even fill it right up to the top. And then and then just let them grow. A lot easier to, to uh, harvest come fall here. So and it was a mix of soil that I used. I had some potting soil left over. Um, Actually went out to our compost pile, used a lot of that soil. So yeah, it looks pretty good. Not as many out of that one. Yeah, the ground in here is getting pretty wet, so that's why I wanted to get the potatoes out before they started rotting. Um, I'm just gonna take this wheelbarrow ground kind of out behind our pigs over here or behind our barn and dump it out there and that's actually where I'm going to put in uh, I'm going to move my uh, rhubarb to behind the barn where it's a little bit more uh, shaded um, it's not out in the open getting I'll say burnt out by the sun so and then next year I'll just start over with uh, some different different soil from our uh, compost pile. The advantage of having horses and pigs and chickens get a nice uh, compost pile every year. So this one was pretty small potatoes in it, but yeah, there's quite a few in that one. Little one. So, yeah, that's a good one. 
even the little ones like that, I'll save those. I might plan on making a, a batch of uh, potato leek and mushroom soup. Especially these little ones like this, boil them up, and then just put the whole potato right in the right in the soup. They're like that. Those are, I love those for that. I uh, use my shiitake mushrooms that I grow. I just went and picked two of them today. So, the only thing is, uh, right now leeks aren't growing. I do have some dehydrated from earlier this year. But I'll go and uh, buy some fresh ones and then, like I said, make a, a potato, leek, mushroom soup, a little uh, heavy cream, probably a little uh, chicken broth that I made up uh, last year. So a little barrel is full. Go dump it out and we'll do the rest of them. One.
don't give any weeds with them. thing I forgot to point out I drilled five half inch holes in the bottom for the water to drain out through the summer I didn't have them on the wagon the whole time I had them lined up just inside my garden on the ground and uh, they were starting to take over my peppers uh, were growing so big they were kind of getting in the way of each other so I moved them on the wagon here for the, like the last two weeks. So. That was the uh, seed potato, and it's a little rotten. So when I'm done here, I'm not going to wash them or anything, I'm going to get uh, my window screen out and uh, set them out on there for uh, probably you know, a couple days to dry. And then once they're dry, you'll be able to rub the dirt right off. You don't want to wash them because for whatever reason that makes them spoil faster. They don't last as long uh, they're down in your basement or whatever fruit cellar. So I do not wash them. Just let them dry and then scrape the dirt off as best you can. And then when you're ready to eat them, that's when you wash them. Last one. There's a few in here. all of them. That's a pretty good pretty good crate full of potatoes. Got to be 50 pounds. Pretty happy with that. I think uh, that's the way I'm going to go from now on. Plant them in buckets. A lot easier uh, on the back, believe it or not, may have not looked like it, but from digging them out, digging a trench and digging them out afterwards, one, well, none of them are damaged. They're all good. They're all nice size, and that's a that's a perfect potato right there. So, yep, the way I'm gonna do it from now on. I wish I would have done this years ago already. this 
salt to the pigs. So they seem to like it. They sure seem to like the potato plants. I don't know if they're sweet or what, but they can be, I mean, there's nothing really on them. They're green. But uh, that'll eat them right up. Cheap food. I could call them organic. chickens they just sit there and wish they had some. I'll go pick them some kale or something like that. That you know, way they got something. Well that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully you got a little bit out of it. Um, hopefully I'll get it posted here shortly. Again if you like it, like the videos. Please uh, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Here now I got them stable set up on the, on the window screen like I said. Uh, set out here and dry, you can see uh, half my drying out real nice already. I'll leave them out here probably till tomorrow afternoon or Monday when I get home from work. And once they're nice and dry, all you have to do is go like that, and probably a good 95% of the dirt comes right off. So, we'll leave these sit. I'm going to go pick some uh, red onions and put them on here to dry as well.